Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today is December 3rd and I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you how I use these shelving brackets from Shirley Simple Shelving to save space in my garden. They're unfinished because I want them to rust. They're part of the rustic look that I like and they actually sell those unfinished so that you can uh, let them rust and get a nice patina to them and I'll show you what that setup looks like. I'm also going to put these beds to rest. I'm taking out my uh, stakes, trellises, all the old plants, debris and all that kind of stuff and clearing it out. But I want to show you how you can use leaves to prepare your beds in the winter, let them do their thing and come spring you're going to be able to just turn the ground over and get to planting. Now I just did a video on uh, trench composting where I took leaves, I passed them over two or three times with a lawnmower and then put them into a trench. I'll link that video and also show you it a little bit. But a viewer said to me, hey, why don't you put your leaves in a trash can, run a weed whacker through them, and you're really going to chop them up into nice fine pieces. And that's the whole key. You don't want to drop whole leaves onto your garden bed because they're not really going to break down in four or five months. You know, when the spring arrives, you want to really finely chop them up. So I'm going to show you how I prepare this bed right here with finely chopped up leaves and just let it sit. Come spring, you can just turn it over and you're going to be able to uh, just get right to planting. So if you put in some of the work now, when there's not much going on in your gardens because of winter, come spring, you can just turn the ground over, it looks something just like this, and you can get to planting. Now this is where I did the trench composting. Dig a trench about a foot deep, right across the center of your bed, and then you drop in chopped up leaves, center part right there, and then you cover them over. And we're going to do the same thing over here in this bed and then we're also going to put chopped up leaves right on top and just let it break down over the next three, four, five months, turn it over and you get to planting in the spring. To set up the trench composting, just dig a, a, a foot depth trench down the length of your raised bed or where you're going to put it. I will link the video to this to show you it more in detail. But I'm going to drop leaves in there, bury them, and then I'm also going to put the leaves on top. The whole key to using your leaves and having them ready for spring is to really chop them up into fine particles. Now I started doing this in the trash can. It takes really about three to five minutes to really chop the leaves up finely. Don't overpack the leaves in there because you want to be able to move the weed eater up and down. But I'll just give you a quick idea. See if I can do this with my left hand. And you get the idea. You're just going to chop all that. One up. trash can full of leaves finely chopped up. Some bigger ones are in here, but that's perfectly fine. The whole key is to finely chop up your leaves because you create more surface area and the soil biology will much uh, will be able to much more quickly break it down and turn it into a form your plants can use. The crushed leaves, the shredded leaves will also retain water. It's great for a raised bed. If you wanted to put in some organic fertilizer, you could follow the instructions, just sprinkle it right across the top of the leaves. That will also help break it down. Um, and it's probably gonna be one cup to two cups. Most of the time it's the same. It's like two to four tablespoons per square foot, but you can just read the instructions. So I'm gonna put in another trash can full of leaves here, bury them, and then we'll get to uh, setting up the leaves on top of the uh, surface. All right, let's work our way over to the bed that I was finishing up. This is the shelving system from ShirleySimpleShelving.com that I put together. Uh, a shelving system this size takes about five minutes to set up. You just gotta pick out your boards, slide the boards in. No tools are required to, to secure this. You just slide the boards in and slide them out. It makes setup and takedown really, really easy. Now let's walk over to the bed that I was finishing up um, for the winter, as I was putting to sleep for the winter. Now, as we get closer, you're gonna notice the leaves in the back are full size leaves. If I was doing a product review on the Weed Whacker, I would say don't get it. The battery life is way too short. So I basically ran out of battery juice and couldn't chop those leaves up. I just wanted to put it down back there so you could see how the big leaves look. And you really want to chop up the leaves into something like this. The finer they are, the more quickly they're going to break down and the more quickly the soil life will enjoy them and get them ready for your plants. It's about an inch worth of finely shred leaves across the top, and I did put chicken wire on top. At this point, I'm gonna spray it down with some water, just let it soak in, secure the leaves, and this is perfectly good for the next three, four, or five months. I'm not gonna be using any organic fertilizers next year, or I'm gonna use as little as possible. I find we just use way too many. And anyway, as I was saying, leaves 
are what nature uses. So why don't we use them and cut out the middleman? So if you can't fully compost your leaves, you can certainly dig a trench, bury leaves in there. You can do an egg, you can do a banana, and you can also finally chop your leaves up and put them right on top. This bed's gonna be perfect come next spring. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.com.